good. My dear people of God, this is Sister Emily Iganu, OSF, from the Order of St. Francis of Perpetual Adoration. Our congregation, with its generalate in all of Germany, was founded on July 20, 1863, by our mother foundress, Blessed Maria Theresia Bonsell, who was beatified on November 10, 2013. Our congregation has four provinces, the St. Elizabeth Province in Cologne, Germany, the Immaculate Heart of Mary Province in Mishawaka, Indiana, USA, the St. Joseph Province in Colorado Springs, Colorado, and the Immaculate Conception Province in the Philippines, whose provincialit is in Bye Bye City, Lake. In our reading today, December 18, 2020, Matthew chapter 1, verse 23, we read, Behold, the virgin shall be with child, and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. Our human minds cannot comprehend why Christ became a human person, became subject to human needs, and in the end, suffered and died on the cross for us. Was it for anything else? Was it because he wanted to show us how to live a life pleasing to God? Time and time again, God sent prophets to remind people to change their lives. And time and time again, they returned to their old ways. God thought, maybe if I would become like one of them, they would follow me. Jesus came down to be human like us experiencing what we experience, and showing us how to live as God's children. If we believe that Emmanuel means God is with us, we will also believe that God is with the person next to us and in all God's creatures. Loving the person next to us is not always easy, but Jesus showed us the way. We have to live for Him, Follow the right path, even if it's not fashionable, even if it entails sacrifices. Just as Jesus has become the human face of God, we too must be faces of Jesus in the world. But we need to be truly Christ-like so that others may see God's face in us. We have to give up our very self and think on how we can bring happiness to others so they too will experience the true meaning of Christmas. The sisters in their own little way would like to render you the song, Night of Silence. On behalf of the OSF sisters, I greet you all a Merry Christmas and a COVID-free New Year. God bless us all. Thank you.